guys hi guys <laughs> hi guys welcome to my channel my name is aja motayo people not only guys i'm sure you guys already know that <laughs> welcome back here if you are new to this channel please do so to subscribe if you haven't like subscribe it's very important subscribe to my channel like my videos share my videos to everybody that you know and drop a comment so i can know that you're a new subscriber you know <laughs> and if you are a returning subscriber oh my god welcome back here you guys are like the real mvp you guys keep sticking with me every time and i really really appreciate welcome back to the channel please do so to like today's video share today's video to everybody that you know and drop a comment you know <laughs> so guys haha <laughs> I'm sure you guys are busy expecting um entertainment extra the next episode of entertainment extra but the thing is like I have to be um strategic at this point I can't um drop entertainment extra every week because I have to do other I have other plans like I have other things going on on my channel I cannot just abandon that because of entertainment extra you know so I've already decided that I'll be um switching if I drop entertainment extra this week i won't drop it next week i'll drop like a new content on my channel so that everything can balance until when i can start dropping my videos twice a week but right now financially mentally physically emotionally ha, i'm not ready to drop videos twice a week because it is a lot and right now i can't <laughs> i can't do that <laughs> so guys entertainment extra won't be dropping this week so enjoy this video while you can <laughs> anyhow anyways guys like um i just want to ask you guys are you doing you know what have you been up to what's the new thing that you're doing you know i want to like relate with you guys <laughs> i want to talk to you guys because you guys are like everything yeah my my subscribers they're like my everything right now so how are you guys doing you no know, i want you guys to tell me what's new that you're up to you know do you have a boyfriend now do you have a girlfriend now do you have a baby do you have a job do you have a business you no know? What have you been up to guys like this is me just um you know and guys me there's nothing i've been up to i've just been up to sharing um making youtube videos and posting so that's what me i've been up to let me share my own so you guys too can share yours anyways without talking too much because i'm already blabbing hmm. i'm shot by the topic you guys know what i am about to say like what <laughs> guys i saw this like i don't know I, I was watching a video last um i was watching a video last night and I just saw, um, I don't know, somehow, somehow, I just saw one video and I started watching it and the girl was talking about um, the problems that comes with having big breasts and everything. And I was like, ah, just do something like this on YouTube. And I mean, like, I was quite shocked that, like, um, this kind of content is on YouTube. So I was now watching, watching, and I was like, ah, I was just feeling the vibe. I'm like, okay, this is not going to pass me by. I have to do this. Like, I have to talk about this. On my channel like this was not even part of my content for like I, it was not even part of what i wrote down but anyways like i just really like it i'm like okay let's go and talk about it because i can totally relate like having a big breast is um a lot like it's like a lot a big job okay i'm i'm um exaggerating but guys it's so stressful anyways guys so today i'll be sharing you guys like the 15 big books problem like the struggles that comes with having um big breasts so i'll be sharing like 15 things yeah because they are quite a lot you know but i'll just be sharing like 15 you get so hey <laughs> hey wait guys like before i start sharing the struggles or the like problems that comes with having big breasts let me give you guys this inside this <laughs> God, so growing up, eh, now as about growing up, eh, as per children, we'll do this mommy and daddy play and everything. You get so me, like, I, I remember vividly. My um, my sisters might tell me they do not remember now, but me, I remember that anytime we're asked to like do mommy, act mommy, or something, I'll wrap um, really big, um, a really big wrapper and use it as breast, so my breast would be ridiculously big. Yeah, I remember I used to do that a lot for no reason. So like growing up, when it's already obvious that okay, we're gonna have um big bubs <laughs> in it. So like you know, when it was already obvious, I was not for a long time like I was like and this is because of I used to wrap big breasts then. That's why God just decided to give me big breasts, like he decided to answer the prayer that I did not ask a big <laughs> but that was in my head for a long time. I legit thought it was because of I used to wrap um rapper big best big breast then like for a long time that was what i thought 
thinking about it now is just so funny and silly. I'm like, tired, really? Like, do you actually think that? <laughs> but guys, that's the inside is that, you know. But anyways, I know that it's God giving at the end of the day. Before, without wasting time, cause it's like I'm already blabbing and me more why but well, i don't know why i'm blabbing <laughs> so without wasting time let's jump right into the video yeah so guys the number one problem that comes with having big breasts guys guess now <laughs> you guys you don't have a break there's no bra day you can't even say you want to do okay today i'm not wearing bra like there's nothing like that see you have to wear bra every single day you cannot just decide you know when they are doing no bra day that people you can't even you want what mm -hmm. You wanna do what? <laughs> like it's just because there's no way you just walk out and you know when people see you, it's just so obvious that you're not putting on a brand that seems to frustrate the hell out of me, guys. Like it's so annoying knowing that every single you just want to go out, just the next house and you have to put on a brand. Like there's no break at all. I remember in school I used to be so angry, like I just want to get downstairs to go and buy food and I have to wear bread because I know when you're in school now I make you get to your hostel, the first thing you remove is the bra. So if you now have to go go downstairs you have to put on that bra again guys that used to be so it's still so not used that is still so stressful that's one of like the most annoying thing like you don't have a break at all you always have to wear a bra hmm. and the one more um the next point you always look bigger and wider when people see you they always feel like oh this guy is fat without even looking at you because of obviously your chest is already taken like um the old space, the old apartment. <laughs> like your chest is already taking the old space. So when people see you, they just conclude that all oh, this guy is fat. They don't like it's until they see you well or that you'll realize that okay. Like until they see you well, like I mean, like see you kind of naked, they understand that okay, you're not just you're not actually big. It's the breast that is making you look big. And guys, I like I that thing can be so annoying because anyways, I know I'm I'm quite I'm quite chubby, so I'm not I'm not supposed to be saying this, but at the end of the day, I'm not as big as people think I am. It's just that I have um full chest in it. <laughs> so the like the third one is shoulder pain. My goodness, guys, this one, this one, this one, this one, hmm. this one fucked with me. It's, that was in secondary school. Like it was so annoying. You no, know, the bra alone is already giving you shoulder pain. Then you now have to carry um school bag again. Ha. Huh. I used to complain of shoulder pain. Like even if my mom can remember now, she will know that okay, the reason why I complain of shoulder pain then was because of the bra. Like it was so and I feel like it was the type of bra I was using then. The hand was just so hard and you know, I'll just wear bra in the morning and all of a sudden my shoulder is already paining me and I still have to carry my bag to school and oh my god, that was that that was so stressful. But I feel like now I don't really have shoulder pain because now I feel like the set of bras I'm wearing now, they don't really have um one the strong the hand is not really strong and i don't get to carry school bag no more <laughs> so i don't really feel that anymore the fourth point <laughs> sports bra don't work <laughs> guys sports bra don't like see if you, if you say ah, okay if you know that you have like full chest and you're like okay you want to go you want to start um exercise and start going to the gym and everything and you can't buy sports bra my style you're deceiving yourself you better go and buy another bra because of you end up buying a bra and the sports bra together imagine imagine the struggle we have to wear a bra and the sports bra all together just because of because of if you just go <laughs> like like me most times that's what i do if i don't want stress i'll just if i want to do like my morning exercise i'll just you know um wear a sports bra and bra all together because i cannot come and allow my chest to be anyways guys <laughs> So the fifth point is people stare a lot. Oh my god, that can be so annoying and irritating. Me personally, I don't like it. If you are looking at me, if people around me know like if you stare at me for I'll ask you why are you looking at me. Like you need to tell me why you're looking at me. I really hate when people stare. Okay, I get I, I get the fact that okay, when I enter a place or I just step into a place, you have to look at me. Obviously, I'm a fine girl. Yes, you have to look, but cut the demand you carry that face away. Once you look carry it away like you don't have to now like uh -uh, now uh -uh, no just look with uh, mm -hmm. and carry your face away don't come and be staring at me i'll ask you why are you looking at me i'm like that like everybody around me no you can't stare at me for <laughs> you can't stare at me for too long because i'll change it for you <laughs> guys the six point wearing a button-down dress 
is a struggle my goodness oh god oh my god i can't overemphasize this this one is very very annoying you know wearing a button down dress that you have to button and you know always always there will always be one annoying button that will not close so this place will not be opened this is always so annoying and guys in secondary school my secondary school uniform used to be like that it was so so annoying like i remember ss1 to sx3 that was like my struggle i always have to use safety pin i always have to use when i was in ss1 i think i was using safety pin but see when i got to ss2 ss3 <laughs> your girl can't be bothered no more so i just remember that i beg if i see it i'll close it but it was so annoying there was not one particular day that and you know at the end of the day i already got to the fact got used to the fact that my friends when they see it, they will just tap me i'm like tired you know guys or girls every one of them just tap me tired okay and i'll do it like i had no problem with that but the one that happened to me one day that vexed me there was this um um somebody in my secondary school i'm sure by saying this story my secondary school classmates bacc students can already know who this person is so we were i was talking to the person then all of a sudden he just carried his hand and buttoned my shirt for me guys i was so pissed i was angry i was like why would you help me to and you know i can't shout I talk to him like that because he's um <laughs> do i want to be punished no but like i was so angry that why would this man aim me to button it like did i say yeah, i can't you just even you know you see it don't tell me carry your face away obviously i was still like you know just look down and breathe by myself but now they went me to button it i was so embarrassed and um I just felt somehow that it, like, why did they have to help me button my shirts? Yeah, that's one of the struggles that comes with having big boobs. Big boobs. You can't wear a button down shirt because no how, no how, there's going to be one stubborn button that will refuse to close. <laughs> and the other one is, um, my goodness, you can't running, skipping, jumping, exercising is a struggle. Yeah, guys, jumping is a struggle. You want to jump, you that pain that will eat you, you just day or day now. You want to be jumping, I'll be <laughs> like jumping, skipping, exercising, like much struggle, much struggle. That's why I said, that's why I said that sports bra don't work because sports bra doesn't really get to like all the press, so you have to wear a bra so yeah, your breast can be really fitted. So when you are jumping, it's not pain you because once you keep going up and down, hmm, it's gonna be so painful, you know. And um, backless tops and dresses won't work for you, yeah. <laughs> like, how do you want to do it? Because of your bra, would definitely show you have to wear bra. You can't, you can't, you can't do it without wearing bra. You have to wear bra. So, I was scrolling through Instagram, I was in there like three days ago, and I saw one nice dress. I was about to just take a screenshot, and I just saw the back. Come on, we are scrolling away now. <laughs> like, I didn't even waste time because obviously I know that I can't wear it. And the one that I saw that people people really spoke about um, is boob sweat, like sweating around the um, breast area. People were really talking about it, and this is something I have never experienced before. But that was like part of some people's struggles and problems. But me, I've never, I've never ever experienced it before. Sweating, not for me. Another one: your bra colors are always black or nude. Yes, guys. <laughs> yes guys you don't get to have variety you always have your bras the size that can fit you always in black or new you don't get to like have pink blue you know yellow and all those good stuff but we can't kill ourselves another point you tend not to be taken seriously yeah like sometimes when you're talking to someone and you know and the person is just staring at your boobs it's not like listening to you is not taking you that one can be so annoying like we're talking like what oh you know, or what? like talk to me <laughs> like don't be staring at my boobs <laughs> anyways and the other one um the next one is trap um brush trap mark okay yes guys that one i used to have that mark before like way way when i was in secondary school when i used to when i used to have shoulder pain i feel like it was just that particular set of bras i was using it was giving me mark and it was making my shoulder pay me but i don't know of recent i used to have that mark sharp but i can't really find the mark on my skin anymore i don't know maybe i don't know what i'm doing well i don't know but the mark is not really there again i just feel like this new set of bras that i'm wearing are just like the absolute best yeah my next point um wearing a seat belt oh my god like 
for the longest time wearing a seatbelt used to be so awkward for me because i'll just feel like what would like no normally it's supposed to go like this but the the belt will want to stay in the middle and that's so uncomfortable like i used to find it so ugh, it used to be like somehow like anytime i have to like use the seatbelt like that used to be one of my struggles next um point is um hugs like when you want to hug someone like it's always i'm always like very very conscious of it like when i'm about to either female or male because i just feel like our my breast will just it's just always summer for me so i'm always conscious of hugging and everything and the last point is they are expensive like you know getting a good bra that you like getting a good bra that you would like and would like fits you perfectly you know it's a struggle that's like a struggle on its own and now buying it like is another struggle because of they are always expensive you see like if you if you, if you just go to the market and you are big hope and everything to just call one ridiculous price for you can see four thousand five you can see five thousand there and you now be wondering that you will now see and you no know, the most annoying thing is like the quality might be like really really low but they will still sell it expensive why um the smaller bras that the quality is really really low like it's lesser obviously the quality is low but it's lesser but because of your big breast thing and they know it even though the quality is rubbish they'll still put money on it for you like it's just so annoying but at the end of the day it's like <laughs> at the end of the day like that's what we have to go to because of we are like the full chested um um I don't know what to call it, but <laughs> guys, those are the struggles we go through, and they're so so annoying. They can be so annoying and overwhelming sometimes. But sometimes they're like, <laughs> sometimes it can be, um, you know. <laughs> so guys, like, if you want me to share like the benefits of enjoyment that comes with having big breasts, I can share that one. So if you want me to do that, just drop it down in the comment section so I can do that for you guys. Because of in as much as there are um, disadvantages, there are also advantages. So like, if you want that still. I can drop a video on that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because we come to the end of this video. Yeah, there's nothing much about it, but I really hope you guys loved it. Like you guys enjoyed me sharing some of my struggles, you know. <laughs> please give this a just please give this video a thumbs up, like it, you know. Share to everybody that you know. I keep saying that very important. Share this video to everybody that you know, you know. Help my help me, help me, please. <laughs> subscribe if you haven't that's very very important subscribe to this channel if you haven't tell other people about me tell them to come and subscribe to my channel people should help me now <laughs> like you know help me grow this channel you know and um drop a comment yeah like if you are um part of like the full chest association or like the big boobs gang like you know we special you know drop a comment and you know if, you, if you're going through some of these struggles please let me know and let me know that i'm not the only one going through this so please drop a comment in the um comment section you know let's talk about this together and let me know that i'm not the only one going crazy yeah you know and um if you don't have big boobs too drop a comment on at the same <laughs> subscribe to this channel and um and yeah yes guys like if there's and what else yes guys if there's anything you want me to do on my channel any topic you want me to talk about repetition but anything you want me to do on my channel anything you want me to talk about just tell me drop it down in the comment section you know you can um slide into my dm my instagram twitter i'll drop it on the, i'll drop it on the screen so you can see you can slide into my dm and tell me what you want me to do like i am open to anything like anything you guys want like trust me to always like what other job do i have you know so yeah and we've come to the end of this video i really really hope you guys enjoyed these videos i really hope you enjoyed me sharing some of my struggles as a uh, as a young girl with the full chest <laughs> that's so weird but anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um catch you guys in the next video bye <laughs>